Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Keystone Montana 3790RD. This is a gorgeous uh, rear den fifth wheel. I like what they've done with the 3790. The, what essentially it is, is they've taken your front living room and they have flipped it around. So you have a raised living room in the back. It just does a great job and I'll show you why as we walk through why well, I prefer, prefer this over a lot of the front living room floor plans out there. But first, let's start off right up front here. One of the things you will notice on the Montana is a painted uh, fiberglass front cap on there. It does have a nice cut back here as well. You'll see some LED lights that are embedded in there that way it gives it a good look at night. Also you do have a light right underneath here if you're hooking up at night and a mirror so you can see as you're backing up make sure that you can uh, line right up with the kingpin. Speaking of the kingpin this is a more ride kingpin on here this is uh, really a great system. Basically you have three inches of travel back and forth that uses rubber inside of there so what that does for you is uh, helps eliminate a lot of the bucking and chucking as you're starting and stopping the truck so that really helps it ride uh, a lot smoother. Let's go ahead and take a look underneath here. Open up the front compartment there. You'll see it's nice and clean up front. Over to one side, you can see over here is the battery box. It does have another door right there to access that section. And also you'll notice another light right there. If you take a look down below, you will see the auto level system. This unit does come equipped with six point hydraulic auto level. Uh, that makes it really easy to set up. Just touch of a button, it goes ahead and levels out for you. Also, it has a memory. So when you go to pick the unit back up, just touch it again and it will go ahead and move the unit to where you dropped it off at. So again, you can just back your tow vehicle right up to it. Right over here is one of the two 30 pound propane tanks. You have one on this side, one on the other side for a total of 60 pounds of propane. Then as we move back a little bit further, this gets us into our basement storage. If you take a look here, this, these are slam latch baggage doors, so they work great, nice and easy. Also, you'll notice magnetic latches on here. This is something new that Montana started doing. Rather than having struts where it sits out like this and you have to worry about hitting your head on there, now they have magnets and you just put it up just like that. That way you get full access to your basement storage. Speaking of, take a look at how big this basement storage is. Montana Montana utilizes drop frame construction, so what they do is they have an I-beam running through, then they drop it down, run another one right here. So that way it gives you this full compartment instead of closing off right here, gives you all this extra storage. Uh, one of the biggest in the RV industry, so I love that they use that drop frame construction. Right over here are TV hookups if you do want TV, and then there is your clean out for the central vac. There is also a light in here in case you have to get in there at night. Another electrical outlet right outside there. So if you want to hook up electric griddle or something out here, you can certainly do that too. Let's go ahead and take a look up top real quick. Uh, you'll see the power awning on there, which is again, great. That's one of the big advantages of the rear den over a front living room, uh, is the fact that we have full awning here. Because if you have a front living room, you have slide out, so you don't get that awning space. And this is where everyone wants to set up camp. This is the prime location. So by having the rear den, you're able to go ahead and set up all your chairs right here. Uh, the other big advantage is this right here as well. This big storage I showed you, on the front living room you won't get near that storage either, so keep that in mind as we're going through. That power awning does have an LED light strip underneath, so again, if you're sitting out here, if you want some light at night, you can go ahead and flip the switch and turn that on. Also, two outside speakers there, so that way if you want to listen to music, you can certainly do that as well. Now, those are controlled by your multimedia center inside, however it is Bluetooth capable. So that way you can sit right out here, use your smartphone, go ahead and connect to that wireless. Let's take a look at the windows on here. The Montana uses frameless windows, which I really like those as well. A uh, couple of reasons. One, they're just a lot more aesthetically pleasing. They look a lot nicer. Uh, two, because the way they open, they essentially tilt open. That action allows them to stay open during a uh, rain, so you can still get nice cross breeze, good ventilation. You don't have to keep everything closed up while it's raining. Last but not least, your seal is tucked behind the glass there. Uh, that is either painted or tinted, so that that way, again, you don't have to 
that that seal's not gonna get beat up by the elements. So another uh, big advantage of the Montana. The fiberglass here is great too, nice high-end fiberglass. Uh, this comes in a big sheet. It does, it's not a roll. Some manufacturers use a, a roll-on fiberglass. It's just a big roll, so it's really thin. Montana's actually comes in a sheet. So again, you know you're getting a quality product. Getting up into the Montana is very easy as well. You'll see we have four aluminum steps right here. Uh, aluminum, of course, is going to be an advantage because it won't rust out on you. Also, you'll notice the rubber strips, which will help make sure you get a good uh, grip so you're not going to slip in case it does rain and they're wet. Also to help you get up the steps, you will see right here you have your foldable grab handle. So that again from, uh, will help you from the very first step all the way up into the coach. Another thing I'd like to point out is this right here. If you see this little badge they put on there, of course it has the model number, but underneath that it says four season living. So Montana is all 100% uh, four season capable. Everything is closed off and heated so you don't have to worry about your lines or your tanks freezing up on you. The other nice thing about Montana, they recognize full timers. Uh, what that means for you is that you still get your warranty even if you're living in this full time. A lot of people don't know this, but the majority of RV manufacturers out there, if they find out you're living full time in your RV, they will pull out that warranty right out from underneath your feet and they you won't have a warranty. So that's not going to be a problem with Montana though. You can live in this full time, four season capable, it will not be an issue. One other thing I want to talk about, if you take a look up at the roof edge, uh, one of the other things Montana does, it's really nice. If you see how far that roof edge comes down, most manufacturers, again, don't do that either. That's what's known as a rolled roof right there because it actually rolls over the side of the unit. Most just come over a little bit and uh, you know the big advantage of having the rolled roof is less chance for any kind of water penetration. By having it come down further uh, along that wall, it's not a hard seam, it's a nice radius to it, which helps again. So water's not gonna get in there and also if anything brushes up against it, whether it's a tree or a structure, less chance to tear that membrane open. Scoot right underneath the slide here. Uh, one of the things I'd like to talk about on the Montana, right down here you'll see the nice uh, aluminum alloy rims there, so less chance for any kind of rust or corrosion. Then right in between you will see the CRE 3000 suspension. So that again gives you three inches of travel and that will help eat a lot of those bumps. So with that in conjunction with the Moride hitch pin, this is one of the best towing fifth wheels out there. On either side of the tires, you probably can't see it, but there's this little um, yellow plate right there. And what that is, is that's the correct track alignment system. So what we can do um, is if you bring this in, we can realign your axles. Because it's actually been proven over time that your axles will become misaligned. And without that system, you have to cut them, re-weld them. It's a big pain, very expensive. So this makes it a lot simpler for you. Now the other thing I love about the 3790, take a look at this. This fifth wheel has the most outside storage in its class. You have that huge front compartment, you have these two huge compartments back here. You never see that in a front living room fifth wheel. You'll never have this much outside storage. So I love that they were able to do that with uh, the raised living room in the back. Come around to the back side of the coach. Right here is the ladder so that we can climb up onto the roof for any kind of maintenance, make it nice and easy to clean it off. And right in the center there is a backup camera. So there is a handheld unit that goes in your truck, uh, has a suction cup if you want to put it on the window. But that, of course, makes it nice and easy to back up. That way, you make sure you're not going to hit anything, as this is a pretty big rig. All right, before we head in, let's take a look at the off door side and we can see the convenience center. So, on the off door side, if you take a look right over here, this is is the convenience center. Uh, I love that Montana does this. It just puts everything in one spot, makes it extremely easy. Uh, you can see you do have a light in here in case you have to access it at night. This is really cool too. This is for solar. So if you do want solar, all you have to do is buy the Furion panels. Go ahead and plug it right in there. Everything is pre-wired for you so you can get the trickle charge on your battery. Outside shower here as well. Everything to go ahead and winterize it. Black tank flushes on there. Uh, here are your dump valves. And again, the good thing about this is they are insulated and protected you can see there of course your hookups for TV here battery disconnect there as well so again everything is conveniently located for you all right, that'll wrap it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Keystone Montana 3970RD. This particular model is in the Java interior. So this, again, as I said, is kind of like the front living room, but what they've done is they have flipped it around, so this is actually the back of the coach. But if you notice,
notice right here is the entertainment center. Uh, beautiful 48 inch TV right there. They have the nice uh, rocks around. Right up here is your sound bar for superior sound quality. And then underneath the fireplace. Uh, nice thing about the fireplace, not only is it very aesthetically pleasing, but this is also a space heater. So that way, as um, you know, it starts to get cold, those colder evenings, you can go ahead and kick this guy on and that will help heat up this space. Then on both sides, you can see some additional storage. You can open that up right here. Then up top over here is actually your multimedia center. So there's that. This controls the speakers inside as well as the speakers outside, as I mentioned. Um, also, radio, CD player, and DVD player. So if you wanna watch a movie, go ahead and pop it right in there and you can watch it. On both sides here, you'll see windows as well. The thing I love that they've done is they put slow rise roller shades on all the windows. Very easy to operate, just like that. Go ahead and pull it back down, locks into place. Don't have to worry about strings breaking, uh, blinds bending, anything like that. And they went with beige rather than the black, which I like that too, because it helps keep it nice and bright in here, even when you have everything closed off for privacy. Underneath, additional storage there, and then same thing on the other side right here. The other part I want to talk about is right up here, of course, you do have dual opposing slides, which really helps open this area up. Now, if you notice, both slides do have a sofa in it, and these are both tri-fold sofas. So the reason that they're able to do this is Montana utilizes a wide frame body. It's 100 inches wide, which allows for two tri-folds. Otherwise, you'd have to have a tri-fold in one and then a jackknife style in the other because you wouldn't have enough room. But tri-fold sofas are the prefer preferable type of mattress in, or uh, sofa in an RV. It's not gonna be like your old school pullouts where you have a big bar on your back and the mattress is only this thick because you're using the cushions right here on the couch itself so it is very comfortable to sleep on. Uh, also, it's not like an air mattress where it's gonna deflate in the middle of the night and you wake up on nothing. So not only is it comfortable to sit on, comfortable to sleep on, provides excellent sleeping capacity because here obviously you can sleep for extra adults. Now the best seat in the house in my opinion is right here, this is your dual theater seating both of these do recline cup holder right there in the middle and of course just straight shot across to the TV but I love the fact that you have this whole space really makes for great entertainment or if it's just the two of you and you want to sit back relax you can certainly do that as well but plenty of seating right up here a couple other things I want to talk about before we move down to the kitchen uh, one if you take a look you can see the nice accent lighting they have running all the way along the crown molding so that really gives it a nice aesthetic and look and another is this right here. If you notice, uh, you don't have your big white AC right there. Instead, you have two air intakes. The reason for that is because the, this is a quiet, cool air system. Montana utilizes a quiet, cool both up here and in the bedroom. The other cool thing, this one back here has a heat pump as well. So again, uh, you know, not only does it cool down, but if you need extra heat, you can kick on the fireplace, kick on the heat pump, and then you can have electric heat. If you're not paying for the electric, that means you don't have any cost whatsoever. You're not using propane, you're just using electric to heat. So uh, very cool that they went ahead and did that. Now bear in mind, the heat pump doesn't work if it's below 40 degrees, but you know anything above, it is definitely a great solution. Let's head on down the steps here. We'll take a look at our kitchen and uh, dining room. So right over here is your freestanding table and chairs. Uh, again, as I mentioned, this is the Java interior. This one has two seats here, as you can see, but it also has two foldable chairs that look almost identical. These do open up, so storage right here in the back. And if you do have extra guests that are gonna fill those extra chairs, uh, this does have a leaf. Whoop. Just have to undo it here. There's a little safety latch for while you're traveling. So undo that, this pulls open. Right there's your leaf, go ahead and pop that in. That way you do have enough space for everyone to sit around and eat at. Of course, beautiful windows all the way around there as well. And as I mentioned, those two have your roller shades. Take a look right down here. So again, because this is raised and elevated, you have all that storage outside. You also get extra storage inside. We'll open these two up. You see here, four full extension drawers. Very nice, great extra storage, really utilizing that space. And then right over here is an open compartment. So if you do have larger items, you can go ahead and put those right there. 
Now again, down here in the kitchen, we do have dual opposing slides, so this is really nice and open. And when you have dual opposing slides, that allows for a center island. So the center island is magnificent. You have a ton of prep space here on the island. Uh, you have this bar over here as well, some space here, so you can see plenty of countertop space, solid surface countertops here as well. Uh, beautiful high rise pull out faucet on there really makes it easy to do dishes, especially when you take a look at the sink. You have a double bowl under mount stainless steel sink. The bowl on the left is huge. Honestly, if this was all they had, that would be more than enough space. But the fact they give you two is great, really makes it a lot easier to uh, wash any kind of dishes. And then as we take a look underneath, you have a bank of three drawers right here. Of course, full extension ball bearing drawers on there. And then underneath, they have a couple cool things. So one is your trash can. So you have a place to put it. You don't have to worry about where it's gonna go. The other is this guy right over here. If you notice, they have a little uh, wall built in. The purpose of the wall is you can take your sink top covers and put them right down there. That way you have a place for them to go. Because normally, you know, you have these beautiful sink top covers and you have no place to put them. They won't fit in any drawers. So Montana went ahead and took an extra step and did that for you. Now let's uh, start on this wall. You'll see right here, huge fridge freezer combo. This is a Norcold 18 cubic foot. Um, now this model is the 3790. The other model that is almost identical is a 3791. The main difference is this right here, which is your refrigerator. If it ends in a one, it's a residential refrigerator. If it ends in a zero, it's an RV refrigerator. So the thing I like about this is again, it is 18 cubic foot, so it's absolutely huge, but you have the option of both electric and propane. So that way, you know, if you are camping and you don't have full hookup, you can 100% still use this coach because you can run it off of propane. So very, very cool, stainless, steel. Uh, as I mentioned, that is definitely a uh, all the space you'll need for a refrigerator. Then moving over a little bit further, great pantry right here. You can see all the shelving space. You also have a light in there as well. So of course you need to get in there at night. It's not pitch black. You can see what you're getting into. And then it's uh, moving a little bit further down. You can see you have some cubby holes right there. Perfect for some spices in my opinion or cooking spray, something like that. And then extra storage here up top. Uh, LED light there, of course, to make it nice and bright. Plug in here down below. So, you know, if you want to put a coffee maker or something there, you can do that. Beautiful decorative backsplash on there. Convection microwave. Look at the size of this convection microwave. It is huge. 30 inch convection microwave on there. So plenty of space. If you need to put like a Thanksgiving turkey in here, you can do that. Um, you know, I personally like the convection ovens. The reason is they cook quicker. They're easier to clean. They don't put out the heat. But if you do like your convection, conventional oven, not an issue. It does have one of those as well. And that of course is right here. So I'll drop that down. You can see that you want to bake some stuff, throw it in there. Cooktop here. This is neat too. So not only do they give you a place for your sink top covers, but for your cooktop cover, take a look. This just folds right up. It's on hinges, tucks away just like that. So again, you don't have to worry about where you put the covers. Three burner Atwood cooktop there. Front one is high output. The other thing I like that they do is they put stainless up top. Most manufacturers will have the stainless on the front, but black up top. But I think it just gives it a more complete and solid look to have that uh, the, the stainless on top as well. A bank of four full extension drawers here. You can see this one already has your silverware there, but you know, nice again, quality drawers there, as well as one right here underneath the oven. Now, last but not least, we'll move over to this side. You have this beautiful hutch and bar area. Uh, so this is, you know, kind of a very versatile space. You can see they have, again, this decorative backsplash, which, you know, kind of catches the eye. I think it's very visually appealing. You know, they did a good job with uh, all the woodwork here. It looks gorgeous. You do have some cutouts right there, so you can definitely stick some things right here in this side if you want. And electrical outlet down here as well. So, you know, if you want to plug in your coffee maker over here and have your little Keurig bar, you can have the coffee maker, your sells with all the coffees, your creamer, whatever you want. Uh, or, you know, if you want to kind of do a little more partying, you want a margarita bar, you can do that as well. So very cool though, uh, gives you a lot of uh, options and versatility. You take a look up top there, you'll see all tinted glass all the way across here. Great storage up there as well. Now it is a little bit tougher to reach, um, you know, but the nice thing about it is it does go really high. So, you know, if you need to bring a little step stool, you can do that, but they're just really utilizing all the space in this coach. Then as we take a look underneath here, we'll open all these up. 
You can see additional storage there. This right here is the central vac. So you can lift that up. Yeah, of course your hose just goes right in there. Or this one is equipped with a tow kick as well. So it's kind of like a salon. You'll just sweep it up, sweep it up. When you want, you just go ahead and flip that up and that way you can brush everything right in there. Uh, just makes it a lot simpler and easier for you. All right, that'll pretty much wrap it up for this area. Let's head up the steps. We'll take a look at the bathroom and bedroom. As you enter into the bathroom of the 3790RD, one of the first things you'll notice is your pivot hinge door. So this is a really neat system uh, because instead of having a door that swings out into the hall, which either blocks you off from the bedroom or from the main living area, this one, as you can see, allows you to enter from either side. Now, as you do come into the bathroom, you'll notice right over here is the foot flush lever toilet. It is porcelain, of course, making it very easy to clean. And as you can see, you have plenty of leg room when you sit down. Now, bear in mind, the door is right here, but when it's shut, of course, the pivot action will make it uh, sit flush, so you will have plenty of room in here. Now, up above the toilet over here is your linen closet. You can see there, excellent space, plenty of room for towels, everything else you're going to need. And over to the other side, right over here is the shower. Uh, fantastic shower, one piece uh, residential style shower on here. You can see the seat over to the side, great shelving. You have the uh, you know Cascade series uh, shower door on here that closes off. You have the hand wand with the shower bar on here and a skylight up top, which allows for uh, not only a, uh, great lighting, but as you can see, additional headroom. I'm six one or I'm six foot, and you can see here you have plenty of space. <laughs> I wish I was six one. All right, that pretty much wraps it up for uh, this section. If you move right over here, you'll see that this, of course, is the mirrored medicine cabinet. You do have storage behind there. Uh, right here's a towel ring, so our hand towels. Great countertop space right there, molded in bowl and electrical outlet there in case you need to plug anything in. Right underneath here you have additional storage and if you notice right there is your toilet paper holder so that way it's nice and tucked away, very convenient. Last thing before we head out of the bathroom, if you notice right up there, this isn't just a standard fan, this is your uh, max air fan with the rain sensor. This does a great job of you know getting all the humidity out, really helps cool it off after you're done with a hot shower. All right though, that'll finish it up for the bathroom area. Let's go take a look at the bedroom. As soon as you walk in the bedroom, you'll see the king size bed here. Uh, this of course allows plenty of room so you're not elbowing each other in the middle of the night. The other thing I love about the bed in the Montana, this is the iRelax sleep system. It's very comfortable, it's a memory foam mattress, and I promise you, you lay on it and it'll be one of the best RV mattresses you've ever slept on. That way when you're you know out there and you buy a brand new high-end fifth wheel, you don't have to automatically replace the mattress. Also underneath here you will see excellent storage. Right there are the two folding chairs that I mentioned a little bit ago. Uh, of course your backup camera there as well but again excellent storage underneath the bed. Beautiful leather headboard up front so not only is it uh, stylish but it's also functional. It does have some padding there so if you want to sit up and read a book you can certainly do that and you have the LED lights right above your head in order to uh, aid in that as well. Windows on both sides with roller shades that of course does allow a cross breeze. Uh, uh, one quick thing about the, the windows in this coach, every window in this coach does open. So if anywhere in this video you did see a window, uh, please do know that it opens for you. Electrical outlets on both sides of the bed as well, so if you need to charge a cell phone at night, you can do that. You can see the shelves on there too. Some cubby holes down underneath. Then right on this wall over here, you do have an, another electrical outlet, so if you do have a CPAP machine, you need to plug that in at night, you can do that as well. So we move up to the front. This is our front wardrobe. Very spacious up here. You, have, you can see there you have some excellent shelving. Uh, hanging rod going all the way across the top. You know, great shoe storage down here as well. Mirrored doors. And then this other side, essentially right here, this is all storage too. So uh, that all has a bunch of cubby holes there. So great storage in the front. And then as we open this door, you'll see again, another hanging rod here, more shelving as well. If you do want washer dryer uh, in your RV, these can come out. You can see right in there, it does have your washer dryer hookup so that this of course is where it would go. Then right here again, another large window letting in some light and again for great cross ventilation. 
At the foot of the bed right here is the TV, so if you want to watch a show or movie before bed, you can do that. I like how they, you know, kind of finished it around right here. Electrical outlet there as well, so if you need to plug in anything else, whether it be an alarm clock or maybe auxiliary equipment for the TV, you can do that as well. And then you have two large drawers here. You can see they are very deep there. Um, so, you know, if you do have any items that are folded you want to throw in there, you can uh, accommodate that as well. Last thing I want to mention about the bedroom, if you look right up top on the ceiling, you'll notice that this doesn't have a box either. Same thing, this is also quiet cool. Uh, big advantage of the quiet cool, in case you're not familiar, is it's about 30 to 35% quieter than your standard AC. So that way as you're laying here, whether you're watching TV or you know trying to sleep, it's not gonna sound like a hurricane in the bedroom. So that's a big advantage for you. That's pretty much going to wrap it up though, folks. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Keystone Montana 3790RD in the Java interior. This really is a great design for a fifth wheel. If you like that front living room feel, but you want the outside storage and you want your front awning so you can set up camp there, then this is one you can't miss. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the section below, or you can always give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. Uh, if you do have particular questions on the specs of this unit, or if you're looking for latest price and availability, I recommend you visit our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you did like the video, uh, don't forget to subscribe, that way you can see future content. Thanks again for watching, folks. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.